If you love your food, then taste traveling to Hong Kong just to eat is not an uncommon practice. With affordable airfares and accommodations, many find it easy to fly to Hong Kong for the weekend. The hustle and bustle of this vibrant city, its unparalleled energy, and its unique brand of Chinese cuisine are what make people come back for more. Hi, I'm Cheryl Tiu, and I'm your host for Taste Travels. Taste Travels, brought to you by Hong Kong Tourism Board. When I come to Hong Kong, I always have my mainstay list of restaurants to visit. And one of them is Yun Ki, located in Central. Since 1942, Yun Ki has been known for their preserved family recipes of charcoal grilled barbecue meats. especially their roast goose. Yunki is just one of a handful of restaurants with a license to operate a charcoal oven. This immediately sets the flavor of the roast goose apart from many others. After stuffing, marinating, roasting, and then frying the goose, a master chef meticulously slices the bird for Yunki's signature plating style. The method in which the roast goose is prepared maintains a perfect balance between the meat and the fat that sits above it. This teases out the full flavor of the goose, rich and intense from its crispy skin right down to its tender meat. It's so sinfully good! My next dining stop took me to Ho Hung Ki, tucked away on the 12th floor of Haisen Place at Cosway Bay. A little trivia about it. It was actually the first wonton shop to receive a Michelin star in 2009, and it has retained this star every year up to present. So let's go and find out what it's all about. So I ordered wonton noodle soup. The dish looks refreshingly simple. Four plump pieces of wonton floating in clear broth, sitting on a bed of chewy egg noodles. There are no secret ingredients here, no experiments, nor fancy sauces. Just a tried and tested consummate proportion of shrimp to pork in each dumpling. Together with its lightly flavored broth and al dente noodles, come a symphony of flavors that affirms the idea that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Another dish worth ordering was the ho fun, stir-fried flat rice noodles with tender slices of beef and bean sprouts. Expect a little greasiness, but it's flavorful and good nonetheless. Eating is a social affair here in Hong Kong, no different from many cities around the world which was why I ended up having my meal with two new friends. And we all couldn't agree more with how good the wonton noodle soup really was at Ho Hung Ki. Michelin star, well deserved. Now if there's one place where locals and tourists converge, it's at Tim Ho Wan. This restaurant has come a long way since its founding almost nine years ago, having expanded across Asia into Australia. You're wondering, why fly to Hong Kong just to eat at Tim Ho Wan? Because it's also decorated with a Michelin star and remains one of the most affordable, award-winning restaurants. The baked barbecue pork buns is a must-try. 
the original recipe, concocted by Chef Ma Kwai Pui, who founded the franchise in 2009, added a special glaze before the buns get sent into the oven. The result? A crisp, flaky crust that almost feels like it was deep fried. Its outer portion crumbles at the slightest pinch, giving way to the soft bun with steaming hot filling of sweet, fatty pork. The moment the buns arrive, they're eaten as quickly as possible. That's because they're really meant to be consumed within 10 minutes from the time they hit your table. Take too long to enjoy them and the quality slides. After the break, we're skipping the line to have one of the most delicious beef brisket noodles in Hong Kong. Taste Travels, brought to you by Hong Kong Tourism Board. The first thing anyone notices about Khao Ki is the seemingly endless line that snakes its way around the block. It's no easy feat to get a table inside, as the wait can take up to an hour or more, unless you get lucky and have an appointment to sit down with Khao Ki's second-generation family member and proprietor, Mr. Kun Kwok Ki. I feel so honored that I don't have to line up to get here. <laughs> Kauki has been famously serving beef brisket noodles and beef brisket noodles with curry for over 90 years. So what makes it so special? The cooking recipe is the only one in the world. Only one in the world? Just uh, like a Coca-Cola. Okay, the, the, the Kauki formula, like the Coca-Cola <laughs> formula, it's perfect. So it's been consistent for 90 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the uh, formula, I will, I will change if I find some something is good for my food, then okay. I will try it. I okay. think it. The most important ingredient they use is, of course, the beef, which is acquired fresh every day. Brisket is one of the tougher cuts of meat because of its large concentration of collagen. But the brisket at Kalki is so tender, it can easily be cut with a spoon. To get to the softness, the meat is slowly cooked for hours, which also infuses the broth with a lot of flavor. The soup balances its umami flavor with a slight sweetness. The beef's collagen, having partially melted into the broth, brings a richness to the dish and the freshly prepared noodles complement the soup's silky texture well. These create the ultimate bowl of comfort food. Warm, hearty, and familiar. Dining at Khao Ki is an unforgettable experience. There are no pretensions to this eatery. The floors get a little slippery at times because of spilled soup, but that only adds to the restaurant's charm. Come in early to snag a table, but if not, the century-old history of a family recipe is definitely worth the hour-long wait. After all these meals in Hong Kong, we taste travel back to Manila for even more Chinese food. Welcome to Manila's Chinatown! One of the local favorites here in Chinatown is Sincerity. Sincerity started way back 1956 by my grandparents, Lim Bi Ui and Hui Mo Kan. So back then, they didn't have much um, capital to start with. So with the money that they had was uh, 600 pesos only. 600 pesos? Yes. Wow. Then it started as a small mommy house mm -hmm. in the alley called Carvajal. Sincerity is practically an institution and is very well known for their chicken. Who doesn't like fried chicken? Everybody likes fried chicken. Confession, this was actually the first time I tried their famous chicken. Immediately after my first bite, I questioned why I had never had it much sooner. Because it was so good. After your first piece, you can't stop having more. You don't even need sauce for it because the oriental flavors are up to the bone good. There are more unique dishes at Sincerity that are not commonly found in other Chinese restaurants. Find out what else to order after the break. Taste Travels, brought to you by Hong Kong Tourism Board.
Apart from the chicken, Sincerity is also well known for their oyster cake. Served year-round, the oyster cake is actually a personal recipe from Marvin's grandmother who came from Amoy, China. Our oyster cake has the uh, bean sprouts, uh, ku chai, then lots of oyster in it. Mm. People are looking for in an oyster cake is that gooey texture that they, they find when they're eating the oyster cake, as well as uh, the flavor and the aroma. So lots of our customers come back to our restaurant just to eat our oyster cake. Duck Miswa is a favorite by the eateries' patrons too. Don't be fooled by its mediocre look, because this soup is packed not just with flavorful goodness, but also fortifying ingredients good for the body. The soup base, infused with a Chinese herb called Tong Kue, is known to revitalize the body and replenish strength. It is accompanied by very fine Chinese wheat flour noodles called Miswa, and is topped with a quarter of a duck leg. Again, it's another winning dish of sincerity. People are trying to find something that's exotic and right. that's not, not of the normal food that they're eating on an everyday basis. There are more dishes that sincerity has become known for, like the matchang, which is made of glutinous rice served with different ingredients like abalone, chicken, pork, mushrooms, chestnuts, and kikyam, made with a meat mixture and wrapped in bean curd skin. These dishes, along with the famous fried chicken, are great to take home. Another food establishment worth a visit is Mr. Ube Rice and Noodle House along Ong Bin Street. Mr. Ube, by the way, is also owned by the same proprietor of Eng Bi Tin Delhi, a permanent resident of Chinatown since 1912. Simply the best take-home treats from Chinatown come from Eng Bi Tin. Copy anyone? Eng Bi Tin is famous for the Chinese New Year Tikoi and also for their hopia. It's impressive that they have up to 20 different flavors of hopia today. The most famous one being purple taro. At Mr. Ube, I sampled some of their dishes, like the Canton style noodles and congee. I also ordered something different, purple bola bola shopao made with ube, and another special mini shopao for dessert. These are the salted egg yolk custard buns, but at Mr. Ube, they call them lava pao. Each bun was oozing with salted egg flavored goodness. Before you know it, you'd have devoured all three. I know, cholesterol, but who can resist? Local Chinese food crawls are one of the best things to do for many a food adventurer. From Hong Kong to Manila, there's always something comforting and familiar about the Chinese cuisine served in the establishments I share. So if you have a free weekend, I highly recommend indulging in this adventure with your friends or loved ones. Happy taste travels! Taste Travels, brought to you by Hong Kong Tourism Board.